Państwo, a ja już teraz z wielką przyjemnością zapraszam na scenę osobę, która od 25 lat doradza firmom ubezpieczeniowym i regulatorom rynku ubezpieczeń. Poza audytem doradza w zakresie poprawy wyników i rozwiązań w raportowaniu finansowym i zmian regulacyjnych. Posiada także doświadczenie w zakresie doradztwa dla klientów firm ubezpieczeniowych w odniesieniu do licencji, restrukturyzacji oraz zarządzania kapitałowego, a także rozległe doświadczenie w zakresie fuzji, przejęć, emisji publicznych. Wśród jej klientów znajdują się największe światowe firmy ubezpieczeniowe i instytucje finansowe. Należona do globalnego zespołu przywódca firmy KPMG i jest w szczególności odpowiedzialna za rozwój usług KPMG w branży ubezpieczeń na rynkach o dużych perspektywach wzrostu. Tytuł pierwszej prezentacji podczas drugiego kongresu Polskiej Izby Ubezpieczeń to The Valued Insurer Leading the Pursuit of Sustainable Growth. Przed Państwem Mary Trussell. Zapraszam. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, distinguished faculty, I'm delighted to be here with you today. And I'm particularly delighted to be here today. It's not my first visit to soccer. So, I first came to soccer 24 years ago. And I came to soccer in the middle of winter. And it was the only time in my life I have ever seen the sea that looks so lovely outside was frozen. And there could not be a more dramatic contrast between that frozen sea 24 years ago and the state of the Polish insurance industry. And I was here in Poland. I was sponsored by the World Bank. And the World Bank had commissioned a study that, amongst other things, was to identify the factors necessary to establish a thriving and competitive insurance market in Poland. So I am absolutely overwhelmed by what you have achieved in the 24 years since I've been here. I could not conceivably have envisaged an insurance industry of the vibrancy that we're here to discuss over the next few days. So I'm particularly pleased, delighted to be here. So thank you very much. One of my fellow countrymen, one of my really distinguished fellow countrymen, Mr. William Shakespeare, says that the role of an actor is to hold the mirror up to nature. So I think that one of my roles is to be an actor within the global insurance market. One of the things that KPMG permits me to do is to bring together the views of some of the best of what we see around the world, also some of the things that don't work so well. And I've been very lucky to be the person who coordinates them and brings them together. So what I'm going to share with you today is based on some research that we carried out we refer to it as the valued insurer. Um, if you'd like a copy of the detailed research on which it's based, well, I'll show you how to access it on our website. I've also got some hard copies of the materials there. And I share that with you in the hope that there are some issues there that will be of interest to you, the people who are guiding and steering the future development of the insurance industry in Poland. And one of the things, as we've been sharing this research around the world, is we see our clients, we see opinion forms say, we live in really challenging, changing times. And you've picked up some of those issues as your theme for this year's conference. Low interest rates, the role of regulation, 
And one of the things that we did was to say, well, let's actually have a look at the performance of insurance companies around the world. And to do that with a consistent data set, we actually ended up having to look at the very biggest insurers around the world to say, have they been able to achieve profitable, sustainable growth? If we look back over the preceding 10 years, and in particular, in the time since the global financial crisis. And so what we did was to identify those who had been able to achieve a consistent return of over 10%, both in their, what we described as being their book value per share, so basically in their results, and also in their market capitalization, how much the market was valuing at the time. And we put those really in four different buckets that are up there. Now, that's all very interesting, and there are some names there that you know well. There are some names that are very important in this market that actually don't appear there. But what we thought was actually more interesting is to try and drive out what are some of those characteristics of the insurers that have been really successful. So that's what I'd like to share with you. And we've boiled down the attributes that have helped those really successful insurers pull away from the pack into five different characteristics. We said, firstly, those who have really thrived and prospered are those who have really put their customers at the heart of their business. And that, to my mind, resonates very strongly with some of the messages we've heard here this morning. We've heard about the importance of insurance being people-friendly. We've heard about what a vital element insurance plays to the social and economic life of countries. And by really re-engineering their business, it's very easy for people to pay what we say lip service to this, to talk about it, to use fine words but to really re-engineer their business, to put their customers at the heart of everything they're doing. And what that does is to give them a real focus and sense of purpose, and that helps them in terms of articulating the message to their investors. It undoubtedly helps them in articulating their message to their customers. Satisfied customers will recommend to other customers, and that is how successful firms thrive. And that sense of purpose that goes right from the boardroom to the back office then helps to deliver real competitive advantage in terms of efficiency. So we see these companies that are outperforming taking the time to look ahead and to invest in making sure that they can deliver that promise to their customers in the most efficient way possible. And to do that, they need what we describe as agility. That's the ability to adapt swiftly to a changing environment. We've heard about a lot of the pressures in the local market, We've heard about some of the regulatory challenges we have coming up, that those insurers that have really prospered and outperformed are those who have got the mindset to be able to deal with change. And that goes right the way from their board, right the way down to the people who are settling the claims, the people who are on the end of the telephone. And importantly, that helps them deliver another attribute that, again, we have heard mentioned today. That helps them build up trust. And that's trust not only in the eyes of their investors, also in the eyes of their customers, their consumers, but importantly, with regulators and with their other stakeholders in the financial community from which we've heard earlier on today. 
So that brings everything together. And what we've done is to then show you some snapshots of organizations we think have dealt with these challenges well, some ideas of what we see insurers around the world doing to make themselves look more like this model that we've put up there. And what I've done is, in the time available, I've tried to dip into our research. It's a little bit like a Polish breakfast. You don't want to have too much of everything, but you get a lot of choice. So I've dipped into it and found some examples that I hope are relevant to the themes of your conference for the next two days. And all of that, in some ways, can sound very simple. Putting your customers at the heart of your business, well, surely that's very obvious. As we've gone around the world, and quite often what we do is we do question and answer sessions at conferences just like this. And as we've done that, we found some really quite striking statistics and quite striking responses. So, for example, less than a quarter of the people that we talk to say they yet feel that they develop and market their products with sufficient transparency to make them understandable to customers. So that, to my mind, suggests that there are some real opportunities for companies to look in the mirror and say, what more can we do to really put our customers 